Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Shoda and welcome to this episode of Ignition Time. Now, the Democrats are playing a very interesting game and it sounds like they are buckling to some pressure uh, to make sure that, I quote, the rich don't get stimulus checks. Now, keep in mind that the, the, the thresholds for the stimulus checks have been kept the same as the first and second round of stimulus checks, except individuals making more than $200,000 a year will get nothing. So this is the interesting amendment, if you will, in the new draft, the new proposal from the Democrats, which is yet to be converted into a bill, which is yet to be signed into law. Let's show you this article on your screen from Bloomberg, which reads, Democrats cut off relief checks at $200,000 in household income. I'll give you some important updates and some other information about stimulus in this video. Welcome to our channel. Let's just jump right in. So folks, the draft legislation that was actually released by the House Ways and Means Committee is quite interesting. Remember that the Democrats, including, you know, the top Democrat, President Biden, talked about potentially targeting the stimulus checks. Well, guess what? The Democrats seem to have backed away from that. They seem to now propose that if you're a single filer, let's say you're a single filer and you're making $75,000 a year, you would get the full $1,400 stimulus check. But if you go from $75,000 up to $100,000, you would get a smaller amount. In other words, you would get a partial payment. But if you make more than $100,000 a year as a single filer, you don't get any money. You don't get any stimulus check. This is similar. This is similar to the first stimulus check, the $1,200 stimulus check, and the second stimulus check, the $600 stimulus check. So in this sense, everything is similar. Now, the, the, the place where it gets a little dissimilar is with this, uh, with this third stimulus check. Let's say you're married filing jointly and you make up to $150,000 a year. You would get the full $1,400. But if your income went up to $200,000, you would get a partial stimulus check. So if you made somewhere between $150,000, as married filing jointly, uh, somewhere between one hundred fifty dollars and $200,000, you would get a partial payment. But this new plan introduces a hard stop, hard stop at $200,000. So if, if a married couple filing jointly make more than $200,000 a year, they would not get anything, even if they had dependents. This is different from the first stimulus check and the second stimulus check. So this is the key differentiator. Another key differentiator is also the fact that adult dependents are now eligible for the $1,400 stimulus payment. Again, that does depend on the income threshold of the main filer. So this is an interesting difference, if you will. In many, in many ways, I consider this a walk back from the Democrats and an attempt uh, on their part to try and appease individuals who are like, oh, you know, we don't want rich people to get the stimulus checks. So this is what the Democrats are trying with the latest proposal, which we'll dig deeper into right now. So folks, I'll provide you with the link to the article I showed you earlier in the description section below. Definitely check out the article. Another excellent table from the article, which shows you the income caps and the phase out formula is on your screen right now. Take a look at what you get versus the CARES Act. Let's focus on single filers first. If you make up to $75,000 as a single filer, you get $1,400 with this third stimulus check and you got $1,200 through the first CARES Act. So let's clarify that again. If you're a single filer, you would get $1,400 if you made up to $75,000. Now you would have gotten $1,200 under the CARES Act. Now let's say you make $87,500 as a single filer, you will get $700 based on the third stimulus check calculation that has been put forth by the Democrats. With the, with the first version of the CARES Act, you would have gotten $575. Now, if you make $100,000 as a single filer, it's the same as it was with the CARES Act. And by the way, this is a good thing. I did advocate in one of my earlier videos, I provided five reasons why the threshold should not be lowered. And it sounds like that is what the Democrats are going to end up doing. Now, let's take a look at married filers. If you're married and making up to $150,000, you'll get $2,800. In other words, that's 1,400 times two. And with the CARES Act, you got $2,400, which was $1,200 times two. Now, let's say you make $175,000 a year as a married couple filing jointly. And this is, again, this is based on your most recent tax returns. With the third stimulus check, under the Biden plan, under the Democrats' $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan, you would get $1,400. Whereas with the CARES Act, you got $1,175. And if you make $200,000 as a married couple, just like the CARES Act, you're not going to get anything. Now, things get interesting if you're married and you have two dependents. If you're married and you have two dependents and, uh, you know, there's a family of four, essentially, 
if the family is making up to $150,000, then the family gets $5,600. So that's $1,400 times four. Again, based on your most recent tax returns with the CARES Act, that number would have been $3,000. Four hundred dollars. So that is that is quite that is quite a sum of money for individuals with children. Now, let's say you're married with two children and you make one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. You would get two thousand eight hundred dollars because your your stimulus check would be reduced if you make more than one hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year based on your most recent tax return. So in that scenario, you're making one hundred seventy-five thousand dollars a year as a married couple. You would be making you would be getting a stimulus checks worth two thousand eight hundred dollars with two dependents. Whereas with the CARES Act you would have got $2,175. Now, this is the difference. If you make more than $200,000, you're going to get zip, nothing, even if you have kids. Whereas with the CARES Act, you would have got $925. This is the key difference with of the third stimulus check, the income, the income thresholds and the overall phase out process. This is the key difference between the third stimulus check and the first two stimulus checks. And folks, it's very clear that uh, even though there was a push from certain conservative Democrats, certain moderate Democrats, like Joe Manchin from West Virginia. What's up, Joe? Even though Joe Manchin wanted there to be more targeting of stimulus checks, it's very clear from the first draft of this of this proposal that uh, the Democrats want to keep want to keep the thresholds the same. But the one amendment they're introducing to try and appease people, including Republicans who'd want the stimulus to be more targeted, is to say, hey, if you make over $200,000 a year, you get zip, you get nothing. This seems to be, seems to be an interesting compromise because folks, uh, however you deal with this situation, there are going to be pitfalls. I'm sure, and rightly so, rightly so, that there are individuals making over $200,000 a year watching this video saying, hey, why are we left out? And listen, there is no perfect answer. There is no perfect solution. Uh, but again, you know, the, the, the choice that is being faced by lawmakers, by these committees that are drafting the legislation is how do you choose the smaller of two evils? Now, folks, I do want to emphasize one other major difference with the third stimulus check with the $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan. Now, child and adult dependents in households with income levels that do qualify for the payments will get $1,400 under the Democrats' proposal. Now, this is very important. Remember, adult dependents were not included in the first stimulus check and the second stimulus check. But adult dependents are included in the third stimulus check. This is significant. So let's say you have, you know, you have a college aid child who's who's essentially a de your dependent. You have, you have maybe a parent, someone you're taking care of. If you're a caretaker, if if you have dependents, you will get stimulus checks. Depending, depending on your income threshold. Let's show you that income chart again on your screen so you understand how the income for single and married will impact the amount of the stimulus checks that you get. So the income eligibility will be based on either the 2019 or the 2020 tax returns. The information that we have right now is it will be based on the most recent tax returns that are on file with the IRS. So folks, that is a that is pretty much it in a nutshell. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. The Democrats seem to be trying to strike the best balance, if you will. But uh, but again, you know, this is in many ways, politics is a zero sum game, because when you try and do one thing, you're going to, you know, unintentionally marginalize other people. But this is what they're trying to do. Let me know what you think. Also, please click like, please subscribe, please enable notifications. I would really appreciate that. That would mean a lot to me. That'll bring a big smile to my face like that. And I'll do anything for a like. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Take care. Bye.